And you know, you gotta you gotta think about this situation, okay? Now let's you know what I'm saying, let's look at it. You know, this when you look at it in its entirety, considering, you know, just everything, it's like what what's happening is it's almost as if, okay, there's a train on the track. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now imagine imagine a train on the track. And imagine somebody like okay, they they learn about everything about the train. You know what I'm saying? They learn everything about, you know, um, engineering. You know, they learn all the stops, you know, of, of that train. The tracks, where it's going to be, where it's going to go. Um, They learn where it came from. They learn everything. So, it's like it's like a train being on the track and somebody, like, literally, in, like, in front of the train for no, you know, reason. Like, no no reason that's, that's, that's you know, um, was for no justifiable reason. You know what I'm saying? No really justifiable reason. They, it's like a mile or so in front of the train, they put, you know, I don't know, giant, they put themselves in front of the train. You know what I'm saying? Or they put flammable stuff in front of the train. That You know, things like that. And, you know, just just, just unreported, un you know, documented. They just did that. You know what I'm saying? They, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? They just put it in front of the train. So when the train just coming down the track and they notice it, train going too fast, it can't stop. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Them people telling me that, okay, to that I need, you know, make it seem as though me talking about the things that I've gone through in my life is, you know, they, they like, I like what I say, a lot of things people are saying, you know what I'm saying, that I'm not saying. Like, you know, for instance, you know, that I said people like like society seem as though it's trying to like coerce me, coerce me into realities, adverse realities. Now, you know, OK, when I'm talking about the things that's happening in my life. OK. OK, that's like, for instance, kind of like with the train situation, you know, it's like, OK, if somebody if you're walking down the road and somebody just start throwing rocks at you, you know, you don't know. Initially, you don't know who who it was or who it is. You know what I'm saying? They throwing rocks at you, and the rocks give you some lasting damage. You get you know all types of damage and, and stuff like that, and then they just disappear. And that's like you saying, "Hey, everybody, I just got I got pretty much stoned. You know, I got attacked with rocks. Um, it's been happening like every day. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who doing it. So it's like, well, whoever doing rocks, Jesus is Lord. Uh, God is great. You know what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. Uh. I'm extremely talented. You can check out my poems if you want to. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You can check out all this natural talent and things like that. You know what I'm saying? And I already had, I mean, you know, just 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 talking about, you know what I mean? And so every day it comes, every day it starts happening. So I start talking about it every day. Every day it starts happening. So you start talking about it every day. Then all of a sudden, it's like after after years, probably over seven years or whatever, it's like society decided to say that um Hey, um, uh, I don't know, um, Elmo, Elmo throwing all the uh, stones at, at at you, man. Uh, so, you know, yeah, all, Elmo throwing all the stones at you. After seven years, they say Elmo throwing all the stones at you, man. You uh, you, all your stuff is about Elmo. You know what I'm saying? Well, all my stuff within that. Now, now within that, I'm talking about. Uh, you know, remember what I just said. I said, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely talented with this poetry. You know what I'm saying? Check out my stuff. It's natural skill. I'm going places with it. You know, I'm great. I glorify God. I got a good purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been on the whole time. You know, that that's also been, you know, that's what I also said over the course of the seven years. So it's like, all of a sudden people saying, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you, um, all your stuff is about Elmo. Elmo throwing these stones and things at you for no reason. You know what I'm saying? We know about it. Uh, we just now decided to say anything about it, though. Uh, for some reason, I don't know. At this point in time in history, now we're deciding to tell you that Elmo throwing this, and that's the that's the uh, perspective we're gonna promote to the world. Elmo throwing stones at Eli, you know. Uh, Elmo, you know Elmo and, and Elmo's extensions, and you know the whole game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so because Elmo throwing stones at you, you know what I'm saying, or or, or you know. The whole, the whole, you know, she bang, because you throwing th throwing stones at you. Then all, you know, everything that all everything that you ever did in your life, like all your accomplishments and everything, is got to be 
it's, it's got to be, um, you know, uh, discarded. You know what I'm saying? Got to be discarded because these people were throwing these stones. And who knows why Elmo was throwing stones? You know what I'm saying? What if it was somebody else who hated natural talent? You know what I'm saying? And they paid Elmo to do that. In order, and then they paid Elmo to do that. Then push Elmo, you know what I'm saying, up. You know what I'm saying? To, to do these things right here against you. Just, you know, as, as immunity. You know what I'm saying? To get away with what was going on. You know, they had an ulterior premeditated motive. You know what I'm saying? In advance. In order to, it was that was already on your life to destroy, you know what I'm saying, your legacy and creativity or to, you know what I'm saying? And then that's the situation. Like it, it's a weird situation, you know. So people throw stones and hide their hands, and then all of a sudden, at a certain time in history, everybody say that this doing that, you know, instead of, you know, we've been you've been talking about you getting hit with stones and rocks and boulders, you know what I'm saying, for seven years already. And then at a certain time in history, everybody like this happening. You feel me? This happening at this point in time. Why now? You know, is is everybody promoting this perspective so hard? So, you know, what I mean, what it seems like is a ploy to fool God. You feel me? Like that's what it is. Like a way that, that society is trying to outsmart God. That's what it seems like. You know, it's like society is collectively trying to disinvent, you know, God's work or talent in order they can make money off it, which they already had. You feel me? They already did that. Um, but I mean, you know, it's a lot of things, technicalities that they don't consider. Like, okay, first of all, me as a person and an author, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's to say that that person, that, I mean, you know, who, who, like, what makes them think that Elmo has that much power in my life or that much control over my thoughts? And you know what I'm saying? What makes them think that that's, that, you know, Elmo is as important? So it's like, why are you telling me instead of people whose job it is to, you know what I'm saying? Protect innocents and civilians and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, why, why, you know what I'm saying? Why are you attacking my work instead of making sure that animals, you know what I'm saying, don't have access or that they're not able to do these kind of uh, horrendous things to people without a cause? You know what I'm saying? Because society is involved in it. It's like it ain't making no sense. When you think about it, it ain't making no sense. This was a pre-planned, premeditated, racist injustice crime. You feel me? And that's the situation. They they the ones that that okay. It's just like it's just like a, another. I can I give you another parable. It's like it's kind of like a situation where, you know, okay. I give you two parables. It's like it's like say if, say if it's different. You know, marginalization is a heavy thing in society. So say if it's different cults. Okay. Now the cults all say they love you. Okay, now say if one person from each cult try to kill you, what position does that put you in? You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of situation. So what if the one person from each cult that tried to kill you also, you know what I'm saying, call up, I don't know, they got, they got, you know, they know somebody, you know what I'm saying, they know somebody uh, for years, they've been knowing somebody for years before they got into the force, you know what I'm saying, the things like that. They call up, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know what I'm saying, Lie on you or, or say things or, or you know Or think of oh, We got this lick You know what I'm saying Or whatever Okay So So now You got people in Injustice And cults Destroying And disavowing your work So it's like Okay It's not your fault Who attacking you You know what I'm saying It's not your fault Who's doing these things to you If you're talking about You know What you know is life you know, I'm saying you shouldn't be have to be disinvented as an influence because of somebody else's evil against you. That makes no sense. That shows that the whole country was literally premeditating that if that's possible. That's saying that they did all this on purpose. All this was pre-planned. Everything. If it still happened anyway, I got a solid, you know what I'm saying? Like airproof, airtight testimony. Solid, you know what I'm saying? And it's like whoever was doing this was pre-contemplating it because you know they, they intended on on the the nature of the attacks to not only take my life but also destroy my legacy. That's why people try to accuse people of un, you know like they try to accuse ghosts and things that can't be prosecuted as having responsibility for this thing against me. It's the, I mean it's not those it's, it's not necessarily those it's the country. I mean God looking at that, you feel me? Like God is not fooled by this. 
This is organized. This is organized. They're blaming people, places, and things that no justice can come to. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, yeah, I'll give you another parable. It's like, you know, hmm. It's like a wall. A, a, like, a, like, say if you had a brick, a solid brick wall. Okay. Say if you, I don't know, minding your business on, like, I don't know, a park in a park or something. And you, you know, you just, I don't know, you're in a garden or something. Who knows? And you just planting flowers. You feel me? Planting flowers and, and doing things that, you know, that, that, that you love to do, like, like gardening and, and stuff like that. And that's like, okay, somebody coming up, like, it's like somebody behind you, they stand in front of the wall. And then they 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 pick up a big rock and they throw it at you and and at your plants and destroy your plants and hurt you and injure you very badly. And then when you look up, they point at the wall. Like the wall did it. And it's like it's like almost everybody and when everybody you guys you like, okay, I gotta talk, I gotta talk about this. It's part of my test. Well that just became a part of my testimony. Okay, the rock, the wall just threw a rock at me. Oh, and in this in this parable, imagine the, the wall. I mean, it's it's like society come together and jumping or joining that. Like, hey, the wall just threw a rock at him. I mean, what? I mean, what do you do? Everybody blaming the, the walls for throwing rocks at, at you. You like, come on. But everybody like, no, I, I don't know. No, no, that was that no, I think it was the wall. That's what is going on. It's like it's totally unreasonable what I'm going through right now. And everybody gravitate back to me and disinvent my legacy in spite of all of these testimonies, my talent, natural, they them seeing it, display it, everything possible. They letting the same walls hang around I'm like well I mean just protect my stuff get it off my farm like I'm like well I mean what else I gotta do I mean I speak the truth facts not enough proof not enough this shows that the country will pre-plan this whole situation to disinvent me there's no other explanation for it you know what I'm saying for something that they did they still trying to punish me for they busted what normally happens if somebody get busted? Do that. But instead, that's still on my life. It's making no sense. It's making no sense. All the truth is it manifests. It's exposed. It's tr- I mean, years of it. Every day. People busted, but ain't nothing happening to her. So they just keep doing the same thing. Over and over. That shows that the country pre-planned this whole situation. The country pre-planned everything. Unanimous. I mean, like, collectively. That's, that's the only explanation for something like this. You know what I'm saying? So that way they try to blame... They try to blame what happened to me after I like say if I drop... Okay, let's say, say if I get... All right, all right let's say after, after I got hit with those stones. First, the first pair of I made. Okay, so if I get, I got hit with those uh, stones, and then I, I put out. Okay, okay, I try, you know, I, I mean, I put out this epic poem, like a classic. I mean, I'm talking about like a, a epoch, like a epic. You feel me? Like one of those long, long, long. You know what I'm saying? Like real. You know what I'm saying? Like stories and everything. And I talked about getting hit with a stone and how it felt, and that you know, okay, dang, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting hit with stones. You know, I'm talking about it, and then it's a, it's a. It's an instant hit, an instant classic. I drop it, and then it go, you know, everywhere. Like, it's, it's like one of the most epic ones in history, informally. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hands down, it's one of the best ever. Talk about, yeah, I got hit with a stone, so I'm talking about I got hit with a stone. I mean, okay, it blow up. It's a hit. Then yeah, imagine, like I say, I've been talking about getting hit with stones, you know, all, all seven years. Um... 
on that time though i decided to make a classic about it okay it go it go you know it go i mean it get i mean and say also i had other classes about being hit with stones already but this one right here was set apart so after it blow up and it's a hit everywhere then all of a sudden that's when society come up or people in it that come up and say oh um this who did all your everything that ever happened to you the wall See, the wall did everything that ever happened to you i'm like well okay what does that have to do with me if, if they did if the wall did that then then okay we need to put on um, special restrictions on the wall make sure um if you know that the wall did this then it's time to um like lock down the wall you feel me it's like it's time to put some yellow tape all on it and everything like like put you know what i'm saying like keep cameras on it and everything that's the, i mean if the wall doing this then it needs special 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 attention you know what i'm saying not the victim not the victim like what is wrong with this like what is wrong with them is the whole world watching this and letting it happen like okay you saying the wall did this then okay i mean personally i don't care i made a classic i made a classic i'm good Everybody see this my style, my flow. It ain't nobody else's. It ain't none of that. You feel me? I got my own everything. It's like okay, so I'm good. I got I got my classics. Um, tons of. I keep them coming. You know what I'm saying? Cause secondly, and I drop another one a week later. I done got hit with a rock again. You feel me? Then a week after that, I dropped the better one than the other two. I done got hit by the you know, rock again. All levels it succeeded. Classics. And then all of a sudden, that's when they impose on me. Oh um. Um, um, wall awareness, wall awareness week. Oh crap! We um all over the all over the world. You know, just just out of the blue, some some random person or something. You know, it's, it's it's a whole it's a whole big thing. Like wall awareness weeks. Um, it's all over the news, everywhere. Um, wall awareness week. Just hard, just hard. Like I'm like I, I feel that. I feel that. Okay, that's go you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's I understand. I understand because these walls are dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Look what happened to me. But at the end of the day, I'm an artist. You feel me? I'm an artist and an author. I got better things to worry about than the walls. You feel me? I got garden patches. I got fields, prairies. I got all types. I got all types of of farms and and and, and livestock. And you know what I'm saying? Things like that to worry about. I don't care about this wall. Why? Or then, you know, then all of a sudden, you know, so I go home, people building a wall outside my home. Like real talk, just one little stretch of wall, one little piece. Like, what are you doing? Oh, we're legally allowed to um, put this wall here. For um, I mean, there's no reason justifiable, but just just there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it don't harm, it don't it don't mess up my property or nothing. You feel me? But I mean, it's in the way. You feel me? Just like oh, just just one little pillar. You know, a wall like just there. Just, just, just imagine it's, It sounds weird Yes you Just imagine It's a brick wall Just a piece of it Just standing there Like probably about Six feet tall You know what I'm saying It's just sitting there Just You know what I'm saying Just there So I go outside You know around my garden wall Okay I go around the wall Tend to my garden And I get back up You know what I'm saying Go back up wall Then I go back you know, It's like What? What? You know what I'm saying? So over something that they themselves pre-planned and premeditated, they're still trying to outsmart God and disinvent a legacy for God anyway. This is a collective thing that the whole country pre-planned if this for any reason can be completed. It's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's reaching to a biblical proportions. It's like it's out of this world. If people are like, yes, yeah, and then people are like, yeah, um, this is a problem, you know what I'm saying? This is a major problem because you know then it, it's tons of um situation where the walls then attack other people. In one case, the walls then shot somebody. You know what I'm saying? The wall, you know what I'm saying? It's different things that you see like this uh, ever increasing growth of walls doing things to people. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere. So it's like, well, at this point in time in history, no other time. You know what I'm saying? Just right now, when my when I got all my classics about getting hit with rocks and everything going. Then that's it. And they're using that to be able to disinvent my legacy and take my stuff.
That's the situation. They're blaming walls in order because they're themselves trying to destroy my stuff. Out of jealousy. You know what I'm saying? They're also to make money off me. They also because my existence contradict the lies and stuff that were being told on me. That's not my fault or my problem. Yet they're informally trying to punish me and by attacking me as an artist. You know what I'm saying? By trying to destroy my work, trying to destroy my legacy, trying to destroy my platforms. In spite of all the proof, everything. They're trying to destroy my classics too. Because I talk about getting hit with stones that were thrown at me by people I did by, by anonymous entities and things that I didn't know about. Apparently. Well, I'm like, well, okay, now that we got wall movements and it's wall awareness week, then everybody go know. You feel me? Everybody go, I'm thinking, well, in my mind, I mean, common sense tell me that, okay, well, now that people know that this is going on, then if anything, it's going to be more restrictions on walls. You feel me? It's, I mean, they, they, it's going to be more protections for my work being a victim and all, a long-standing victim of such a, a brutal, egregious situation. You know what I'm saying? I got, I'm deformed. You know what I'm saying? I got broken limbs and everything from the, from the you know what I'm saying, from being hit with, you know, stones all year, every year. So, I mean, I look different. So, everybody see me, you know what I'm saying, when they see when they see my, the damages I got, then I got damages that, 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 that you can't see, scars that you can't see. You feel me? Uh, so, just just knowing that people know these things, they see that I'm telling the truth and all this stuff, and they see the, they see the, the, um, the stones and, you know, all of this, and entire giant boulders and stuff, you know what I'm saying, with, with my blood on it. You feel me? They, they see all of that. So I'm like, well, okay. Well, normally common sense go tell me that, okay, now that people are aware of, um, you know, the, the damage that these, um, you know, these, you know, walls and sides of buildings doing to people, then it's like, well, well, um, okay, if anything, my stuff being protected, indemnity, which I already uh, called for years ago. You feel, feel me? I already called that. You know, I already asked for that years ago, as my testimony proves and shows clearly. Um, so, you know, I'm like, well, indemnity and also protection for my life, security for my rights. You know what I'm saying? And more regulations, restrictions on these walls. You feel me? Even even if, if necessary, the demolishment of such walls. You feel me? For, for the, what they're doing is a threat to humanity. And it's an act of terror. And it's a crime against humanity. It's it's all of those things. It's a treat, it's atrocious. You know what I'm saying? So we to the point we just be having it's time we go we gonna go back to straw huts you feel me like <laughs> what i'm saying though like and it's the weirdest thing ever so why on earth would after people have awareness of you know what these walls are doing why on earth would the victim that they're doing it to still be getting stones thrown at them you feel me by the walls and also still you know what I'm saying? Having my art and things taken from me, my ideals and stuff, dynamics stolen from me, right from under me, simultaneous to all this walls, you know, violence and all this stuff happening. Like, I mean, why on earth is that? How is that possible? You know, it's a lot of things that is not making sense, you know? So I mean the only explanation is if is the whole country premeditating it. It pre-planned this situation. Or a large part of it. Or powerful parts of it. You know what I'm saying? If not all, you know what I'm saying? It was where it counts were, definitely. So it's like I should be the main priority. A main priority, you know what I'm saying, for protection of my stuff. And that's weird, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't making no sense, man. It's the weirdest thing ever. But whatever, whoever doing it, they know beyond all reasonable doubt at this point from seeing the miracles and stuff that follow me everywhere I go. The signs and wonders, the supernatural phenomena that be in the sky. That's Jesus Christ. You feel me? Um, you know, that's his power. That's God's power. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, they know 100 percent that whatever they're doing, whoever they are, they're doing it directly to the Lord. And if the country, now that the country know about it, and it still happens without those people being, you know. Um, unable to do the same thing Then they're also My blood is also just as much on the hands Of those people as well You feel me? In God's sight Because God cannot be fooled, manipulated, or tricked God knows all, sees all You feel me? So there's no way around You can't trick or fool God They're trying to disinvent a legacy that's to glorify him 
You know what I'm saying? So they can't want nothing to do with him if they're allowing this to happen to a, a servant of his. And not just any servant of his. You feel me? It's that simple. So after upon the completion of this, they could they finalize the absolute, you know, uh, you know, officiating of you know Babylonian rule. You know what I'm saying? Babylonian um Baphomet, the Antichrist, you know, like all this, you know, all of that. It just put a seal on it, you know, um, forever. You know what I'm saying? Officially. Because, I mean, if this thing was one of the last straws and they're trying to break it too, you know what I'm saying? So it's a weird situation. But yeah, man, watch out for the walls, man. <laughs>